So I definitely enriched the fellow schedules today. I put so many amazing vascular patients on their schedule. It'll be really amazing education for them. Oh my God, hasn't clinic just been nuts? Don't you agree, Danya? Wait a second, guys. I just realized there's no way that Dr. Dinwiddie and Dr. Collins would be in the same room. Do either of you want coffee? What about you, Paula? Hey man, what's up? Nothing much, man. How are you? Yeah. You look tired, man. Yeah, Aaron woke me up at like 5 a.m. to consent to random TE. I'm not even on TE. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. But at least I have a couple open slots in clinic today so I can relax for a little bit. What the hell is this? What happened to all my open slots? Bookkeeper Arthur Oberheim? Pre-op? It's a pre-op. I think I know this guy. I think this patient had surgery last week. So I'm doing a pre-op on someone who already had his op? This is crazy. Yeah. Wait till you hear this. Um, Catherine had an add-on pre-op for eyebrow laser removal. Oh my god. And what happened to all my other open slots? Okay, per Dr. Montgomery? She just put her entire schedule into mine. Catherine, what have we got? So this is a 37-year-old female with past medical history of anxiety who's mm -hmm. coming in for pre-operative uh, assessment uh, prior to laser removal surgery. Really? Two weeks. Because her neighbor has air. What we got here, Chief? Um, oh, that's just a ridiculous uh, consult for somebody whose neighbor has air. But uh, he has AF? No, no, his neighbor has AF. I think we should give him a watchman, don't you? Uh, no, I don't think that she needs See, a watchman. See, today? Uh, yes, yes, she had a good branch today. You think you can do a TE first, push everything down? Why don't we call Karen? You know, we'll call Karen and get him on the schedule for today, all right? What is, uh, what is this wait for? Uh, is this, uh, is this, um, perforated leaflet? Of the pulmonic valve? Uh, it's, it's hard, it's hard. It could be, could be. What else could it be? Um, is there a vegetation that's interrupting? What else could it be? I'm not sure. Okay, let me let me show you. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, this was this was shown. This this finding was shown in this paper, in 1948. 1948. 1948. Jeez. Okay. Oh, I'm here. So, 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 why would will you be doing? Will you be doing a lot of ice? Yeah, I'll be learning how to how to do ice. Uh, I don't have much experience with it yet. Maybe you oh. should uh, spend some time reading echoes first. What do you recommend? So listen, this can be uh, an uh, intimidating situation. Uh, what I advise you to do is play dumb, make it sound like you don't know anything, and then he's gonna let you go. Okay? Really? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll play dumb. All right. Thanks. Thanks, I'll wait. Dr. Chowdhury? I have a, a case for you, a patient to staff. Mm. Oh, you have a consult? Yes. Mm. Okay. What is it? What is this? Uh, what is this? I think it's SVT. You think it's SVT? You think? Yes. What year of fellowship are you in? First year. Mm. My unborn child could have told me this is SVT. SVT just means QRS less than 120 and heart rate over 100. What is this? 
What is this? Uh, um, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's maybe a t- t- typical VNRT flutter. Huh? Huh? What? What is it? AVRT. What'd you say? AVNRT? What'd you say? I'm not sure. Mm. What's the differential diagnosis? It could be a typical AVNRT. Um, mm. Are you sure? No, really. No. Mm. So, what do you think it is? AVRT. You were wrong. You were right the first time. I tricked you. You should be confident. Where did you go to medical school? Europe. Europe? They're so good. They have good physical exam skills. What happened to you? Hello, Dr. Resnick. Hi. Hi. Do you have a minute? Hi. Hello. Yes. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Have a seat. Thank you. Um, just wanted to talk to you about uh, heart flow. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Um, I think we have a couple of issues there. Okay. Excuse me for one second. Oh, it's him again. Hello, Elon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, Elon, my ideas are not for sale. It doesn't matter how many Teslas. And get rid of Dogecoin. Oh, hey, what's going on? There's a catastrophe in the EP lab. I need a CT surgeon stat. Uh, Greg's not here, but Chuck Tom? What? Hey, Miron, can you uh, fix this for me? I was Googling something. I actually deleted Windows, I think. What? There's been a catastrophe in the EP lab. Oh, really? How's the patient doing? Terrible. Oh. They burst someone's left atrial appendage while trying to put in a watchman device. Ooh. Okay. He's bleeding into his chest. Do you need me or you talk to Greg? Can you help? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, so, do you have an 035 wire? Yeah, we do. I think if you give me one of those, they'd probably get it past it. Get an ampass for plug, and uh, we'll be good to go. Sounds like I would like to see the images first. Can you get Dr. Levy for me? Have to review them with him. Sure. Hi, Dr. Chaudhry. I have a, uh, a consult that I was wondering what is if it? I could discuss with you. What is it? What is it? What is it? So this is a, a 43-year-old female. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She was born in the 70s. Yes, yes. As you can see, she's G3, P3. Uh, non-smoker, uh, type 2 diabetic with uh, CKD stage 2, amblyopia, presbycusis. Yeah, I actually implanted a pacemaker in her mother. Oh. Yeah, way back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those were the good old days. You know, the pacemakers used to be so big. Yeah, now she owns a, a candle store in Burlington. Did you know that? I, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her dad was a squash player. Oh. Yeah, pretty good one. He won the British Open oh, back wow. in the day, yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Do you know who the best uh, squash player of all time was? This no. guy. Jahangir Khan. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, by the way, thanks for painting scene. It could uh, really use a coat. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Dr. Clement, great. I just what I was looking for. I was looking to talk to you about a patient on 5 West. Hey, forget that. Did you do the nuke on the patient on second floor? Dr. Clement, that patient just had a calf. It was uh, totally clean. So? He probably MBO and didn't have caffeine. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That isn't what. I... Yeah. Oh God. It's a nice transepta though. Like a little posterior though, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe anterior. Maybe anterior. Okay. Is that the pericardium? Yep. It, yes, exactly. 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 Okay. And I, I think that's a, it looks like a dragon tail appendage. Okay. 
Interesting. Do you have any uh, presentations or slides on dragon tail appendages? Yeah, I do. Of course I do. Of course <laughs> I do. Yeah. Okay. And I bet you, I bet you, if you get a wire through it, you'll be able to put an implant. Exa that's exactly what I told him. Hey, my hey, hey, how, how are you? How are you? Good, good, good. How, how are was your you? day? Good, good. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So, you call me. What's going on? It's just that we have a patient who just came oh, from, the, from the EP. Should lab. we see him? Let's go. Let's so go. I, Dr. Dan. Dr. Dan, you check in. I have to tell you a few things oh. before we go. Oh, uh, okay. so, so she is a 37 years old uh, and past medical history of anxiety. Okay. She came for a pre-op visit for eyebrow laser surgery mm -hmm. uh, and uh, her, her neighbor had AF. So naturally, we, we sent her to get a watchman device. Uh, so you're saying because the neighbor had the AF, she had to get watchman? Something like that. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so uh, her okay. appendage turns out to be a dragon tail appendage, mm. and so her appendage actually burst open once we put the watchman in. Okay. Uh, so heroically after that, Dr. Piemonte came in and he actually deployed an amplant or closure device. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, and uh, Dr. Hulk was right there, mm -hmm. and so he put a watchman on top of the amplifier. So you meaning you saying Bruce actually did the procedure after? Dr. Oh, I, oh, yeah. I, I oh, get yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, procedure went well. There's no leak with the appendage. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. She's in cardiogenic shock now. Let's go. Let's see. She's a little sick. Good, look, look at the oxygen. The oxygen is, is really bad here. Is it seven, 72? Is it 72? Uh, she is uh, oxygen. intubated. Oh, yeah, oh she's intubated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. going to say maybe more oxygen. What about the blood pressure? The, the, blood, pressure is a bit, the blood pressure is a bit too much here. Is that like 200? Yeah. What, what is going on now? Yeah, we were paralyzing her, so uh, you know, we're, we're giving her some meds. That's a lot of blood pressure here. Just, yeah. just, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I mean, you know? Yeah. What? Well, uh, so, so, okay, so is she comfortable? She is comfortable, we're keeping her comfortable, she, we're trying to paralyze her, and then um, we'll, we'll see how okay. it goes from there, yeah. Okay, okay, sounds good. Uh, this oxygen is just like, this is very low, this is very, yeah. very low. Yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah, we're gonna paralyze her, maybe even prone her, we'll see right. what, what we can do, else, right. you know, right. get some more. All right, what a, Dr. Draper checking in! Did you hear about this amazing procedure they're doing in the EP lab? No. Dr. Labib is getting all those pictures. He's amazing. He's amazing. Yeah, Mylon was telling me the other day about how much he learned. And I mean, Dr. Labib has so many PowerPoints. And think about it. In a couple of weeks, you're going to be gone. And all that yeah. knowledge is going to be lost I to know. us. I know. I know. But we still have to take our boards. We do have to take our boards. You know what we should do? We should steal his computer. Well, they're in the procedure now. I mean, now's our chance, guys. Do you think my one will be in on this? Yeah, we tried doing that in my ear too, Chief. Let me know how that one goes. What's going on? You guys are up to something. I know everything. Oh, dude, check out my socks. Kind of lame today, I know. I had the gangster sloths earlier, but they're in the wash. Next time. Shim, do you want in on this? No, I don't need that. Hello, operator? 
This is Dr. Labib. Can I speak to IT, please? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, it's Dr. Labib. My computer is not working. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's a big red cross. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I tried that. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. No? You don't understand. It's not working. It's not working at all. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Okay. Right, right. Okay. No, no. It's not going to work. No. 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 Okay. All right. Call me someone else. All right, so who's taking this home? Um, I think I should take it because um, uh, I need it for the EP lectures and for all the anatomy stuff from there. Anatomy, I'm, I'm doing imaging. Yeah, that's true. Guys, I think I should get it. You have no idea how hard it is to be a woman in cardiology. You just really don't know what it's like. <laughs> lunch guys oh hey Nadia I made um, some Thai homemade Thai here's yours oh thank you and here's Catherine thank you and I made biryani last night for us to share tonight and my mom made this salmon salad that you ladies like oh I love it when your mom makes that oh it's so good let's eat guys this is so much better than chai with the boys <laughs> Console for AFib, is there an EKG? Oh, on, on telemetry, in the, in the OR. Oh, well, do you have any pictures or anything? No, okay. So was the, was the rate high? No. Also, uh, I'm not really sure what I can comment on. If you don't really have any pictures, maybe you can order a monitor. Oh, okay. Your attending wants us to see the patient, okay. Hi, this is my own cardiology. Hi, Alex, how are you? Yeah, of course, yes, absolutely. Oh, the patient had VT. How long was it? Oh, 29 seconds? Yeah, that's still non-sustained VT. It looks like um, he may need an EP consult, uh, from what it sounds like. My one recovering EP today. Oh, we are. Um, so, that reminds me, as an uh, outpatient, uh, 29 seconds, as I said, is non-sustained. You know, I, you can give him some beta blockers, just increase the dose a little bit. And if it crosses 30 seconds, again, just call us back. We're here for this. Remember, you're not alone. We're here as a team. And just call us anytime. And you can also take my personal pager. What I'll do for this patient now, I just got his MRN. I'm going to put a request for appointment for him, and we'll see him in the EP clinic. Absolutely. You have a great day. Yeah, call me anytime. Bye. I think you should do console one and console two with Mike. You can't believe it, it's amazing. If you do that, when the days are not console one, you leave it at 1 p.m. Oh, Zahur, I'm so happy we are both on consults together, and I love that we are splitting consults equally. I totally agree with you. This way, at least we're both likely to leave by eight. When I'm on consults, I usually leave at 4.30. How? Consults are until five. 
Hey, Nadia. Hey. I'm on call again. I haven't done procedures for quite a while and you know me. Like when I ha don't do them for quite a while, I just again feel scared. Well, you know, if you're ever uncomfortable or anything like that, you can text me anytime. I can come and do one with you. In fact, actually, do you want to go to the CCU and see if they need any lines done? We can go and practice now. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, let's go. Okay, thank you. Well, my one, they asked me to do this procedure, but I've, I've never done it before. Oh, that's easy. You just watch a YouTube video. Before and after, ideally. Okay. Oh, hey, you want to look at a cool AKG? <laughs> oh, hey, do you want to look at a cool echo? Hey, Nadia, good morning. How are you? I haven't seen you in so long. Hey, Nadia, you look a little stressed out. Huh? Are you okay? Come, come, sit down. Sit down here. Sit down for a few minutes. Nadia, I gather you all with you. A little tea? What kind of tea do you want? We have comfort and joy. <laughs> Is it okay with you? Jonathan, have you seen my computer? Oh, floral, wait, floral. No, 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 with the floral. That's... You mean you're not wearing web? Web? Not even wearing pants. I can't believe these people confusing me with that guy. Susanna, have you seen my computer? Are you on APC? No, I'm on APC. You're on APC? Look at this man. Would you look at that left me? We've had a 75 year old with a left me that looks like a complete not. You got to be kidding me. Christ. So I don't know, maybe PMI he's gonna do something on Friday. Holy shit. Alright. Okay. Uh, Alright. Hey, what's going on over here? Oh. Jeez. I heard Dr. Labib's computer got stolen. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I wonder why no one ever wants to steal my computer. 